Hello friends, this is Abril. I'm coming uh, here to share with you another fl a friend blessing from um, Rose. Rose Alcala uh, from Rosie's Crafty Creations. Rosie's Crafty... Rosie's Crafty Shack, I'm sorry. And um, uh, in her YouTube channel. And I'm going to go ahead and share that in the description below so that you can follow her. Because she has a lot of amazing things that... Uh, she um, sells, uh, she sells monthly kits, she sells uh, bi-monthly fabric bundles, which um, um, there's one coming out in May, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, it includes uh, fabric uh, uh, pieces, um, trims, flowers, uh, buttons and and knickknacks and such um stuff like that i've shown um some of her fabric bundles in videos so if you go look for it and under my videos you'll you could see what uh type of stuff she has available she also has happy bags and those are wonderful they're just a bag um in colors uh blues purples pinks whites avocado dye creams and uh, they're they're just I mean they're they're all of them are very pretty I believe she also has black and um, um, anyhow uh, definitely is Rosa Kala is the person that you must follow uh, and uh, if you don't already and uh, stay tuned for uh, what she has coming out. Um, she she went ahead and um, this is a friend blessing from her. E everything here is stuff that uh, she she gave to me because she is um, going through her stuff and um, uh, getting rid of uh, of uh, things that she no longer has uh, use for. And she is gonna have uh, with her fabric uh, bundle in May um, this coming Saturday. Uh, she's going to have the sale of those and it's going to include a D-stash, which is going to include um, some of her items um, that she not, she's not using. So, yes, definitely. She has many wonderful items. I would stay tuned for sure. But uh, she sent me this teacup because I had um, mentioned that I wanted uh, to make another because this one's mine. <laughs> And it's an um, altered teacup from one of her kits. And everything on here, I made a video on this, but everything on here that I used to decorate the, the teacup with is included and in, was included in her kit. And she had some of the teacups left over and um, she was kind enough to gift me one so that I could make another one. So yay, I'm so excited. Uh, here's the teacup. And the saucer. So yay! I'm so thrilled. And then she sent me some pretty picture frames. And these these were great um, on your altered uh, books, on my altered boxes. Uh, you could put them, you know, on the top of it once you decorate it and put a picture or a pretty saying on there. Just um, they have many uses for it. So she sent me this one. And um, she sent me this one. And I can't wait to work on those. You could use them as is the colors or you could uh, uh, change the colors on them. Then she sent me this uh, several sheets of these uh, bingo sheets. And these are really fun. These are going to be really fun um, to work. See how to use them in the a journal or such and then oh this is a pretty card that she that she made that she sent to me and um thank you rose thank you so much she sent me some cheesecloth this is gonna be i have some um some cheesecloth and some funky colors not funky but some colors i bought um in a clearance at hobby lobby but i don't have any white so this is gonna be really fun um to work with she also sent me, and she had this cheesecloth, I believe is what she wrapped uh, the teacup with. So there you go. Then she sent me this stamp. Um, 
and it has uh, I don't recognize the R2 I'm um, maybe recollections I'm not sure but it has the happy birthday a special day celebrate date big day surprise on this date and then just a squiggly party happy day good times and 12 says blank and then you just move the stuff along with the dates and this goes I'm not sure up to on my 20s 2016, 15, 17, 18, up to 2018, but uh, you could not include a date if you want. Um, but that is pretty awesome. And then, because I love unicorns, she sent me this uh, My Little Pony piece of fabric. I believe it was going to be some little girl's pajamas or something because it's already cut out. But look at how cute the little image and then the colors, the beautiful colors. And then here is the back of the shirt. Man, I could probably make this for some one of my little nieces and finish it off. Super cute. Uh, look at that. But really for a journal, that's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, Rose. So pretty. And then she sent me some um, die cut mat pads from K and Company. And these are just, uh, you use them, whoops, uh, for your pictures. And it has um, three of each, it looks like. And you could also just use them for your journals as tuck spots and stuff like that. That was really weird, huh? There you go. I hope that showed right. I'm over here flicking it all fast. Yeah. Okay. And then she sent me this other journal packing company. And this has like, remember when, what to bring. And they're already perforated for you. So you could just cut them out like it's their like die cuts. So that's going to be a lot of fun to work with. Um, am my backwards? These are just blank, like the call out. Then this has like my travels, where I've been. Check it out. Here are my few favorite things, remember. And then they're just blank. Quote of the day, look what I saw. Another look what I saw. Today was great because. And then I spy. And then my favorite place. The highlight of my day was this week's forecast. And then remember when you said, is that uh, in another color? Remember when you said, check this out. Our vacation, remember today I, the high, the low. And my day was bright and when I spy, don't forget. Come rain or sh come shine. And yeah, a few of these blank ones. Super fun. Yay, I love that. And then she sent me this, which is one of those, uh, the looms where you could uh, different sizes and create. I'm gonna have to look up like patterns of stuff to create. I've never used one of these. I've used the one where you make the like the beanies and uh, the scarves, like the straight, but I haven't used any of these these tiny, so I'm, I'm excited to learn how to use this. Because I do like using the other ones. And then she sent me a whole bunch of the Cuddlebug um, um, 
I don't know if you could. Let me grab a piece of paper. Without knocking anything over. These are the trees. I don't know if you could see. Oh, there you go. And then you have this uh, geometric pattern here. Then you have like some Christmas tags, ornament. They're they're they look like actually paper lanterns. Is what it is, I believe. Hanging on the string. Then you have this cute uh, picture frame. Could you see that? I'm not too sure. I can't. Hang on, let me get rid of this light. It's glaring me off. Weird. Then you have this um, stockings hanging on the Christmas stockings hanging on the on the string. You have um, this looks like ornaments to me and uh, lights. I'm gonna and little Martians. This will be fun for the journal I'm planning on using for Ankil. And then you have uh, like jack o' lanterns. Then just another frame border. And then this just like a background pattern. Another type of background pattern. And then this cute little frame, border frame, uh, the giraffe. So yes, um, this is my friend Blessing from uh, Rose, Rose Alcal Alcala from uh, YouTube channel Rosie's Crafty Shack. And I'm gonna go ahead and link her information and uh, definitely make sure to follow her. Thank you so much for stopping by. Love and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.